So thank you to those of you that uh, are joining us this evening. So this evening we are going to just go through the um, project called Aphrodite Aqua. Um, and I have a, a great 360 um, presentation from the developer for this so that you can actually see it a bit more in real life than just through a uh, PDF presentation. So I'm just going to share my screen. It doesn't want to share. Okay. Can everyone see the screen okay? I'm hoping so. Okay, so uh, this uh, project is in an area called Gazi Verin, um, and it's actually on the um, west coast of Kyrenia. Um, and this particular area is actually known as the breadbasket of North Cyprus because um, I think there's something like 30 or 40 organic farmers in this area. So most of the fruits and vegetables that you buy, that you eat in North Cyprus is actually produced in this area. And when you drive down there and you drive to this project, you actually drive through uh, the orange groves and the lemon groves. Um, there's strawberry fields that you can go and pick your own strawberries at certain times of the year. Um, and the area itself is um, quite rustic. It's uh, a little bit like stepping back in time, um, particularly the little village that you drive through to get to this project. Um, the little village itself has a, a small little shop um, and then there are a couple of uh, other restaurants in the area as well. One restaurant definitely within walking distance of this project. The shop is in walking distance, about a 10 minute or so uh, walk. And then you also have uh, the town of Gazeliot. Um, Gazeliot is about a 10 to 15 minute drive away, um, but it has uh, several large supermarkets, um, different cafes, restaurants, it has bars, um, and of course, all the sort of shops that you would expect. Um, and I actually think the last time that I drove through here, um, I noticed that they are, it seems that they are building some sort of small shopping mall area as well. Um, so the area is becoming more developed, but still, when you go here, you see that it is quite a rustic area. But uh, when you come to this project, it is very peaceful, it's very calming. And you can see the great Mediterranean sea views here. This coastline is about a 36 kilometer coastline. Um, and what you actually see quite interestingly, this mountain range over here, this is actually the mountain range in South Cyprus. Um, and this mountain range uh, has the mountains called the Trudos Mountains. and in the winter, you can actually go skiing here. It's a very popular location for Turkish Cypriots on a Sunday. They take the children over there so they can build snowmen and go sledding and things like that. But there is actually ski slopes there as well. So with this project, um, because there is actually a crossing point quite close uh, to this particular project, you can actually be in Trudos within about an hour of uh, being here. So at certain times of the year, you know, January, February, March time, you could be having a, a coffee in the morning, watching, you know, the sun looking out over the Mediterranean or having a little walk along the, the beach area here. And by the afternoon, you could be skiing. So it has some very different aspects to this particular location. Um, and if I turn it around, you'll see how green and flat this particular area is. So that's why it's, you know, it's very good for farming in this area. And you can see some of the fields and things like this. This is the road, um, this is the little village here, and this is the road that leads down through to the project. Now, for those of you that haven't been here before, uh, this is actually kind of seven phases, I think, now of this project. This part of the project at the front here, where these white buildings are, uh, this part of the project is actually 15 years old now. Um, and uh, when you see it, uh, it's actually 
in fairly or very good condition. Uh, it's been very well maintained by the maintenance company through the developer here. Um, and it has a host of facilities already. So there is a, um, a restaurant on site here. Uh, there is a communal swimming pool. There's an indoor swimming pool. Um, there are football, um, volleyball areas at the front here. Um, there is a um, on-site um, water sports company, and there's also an on-site ATV company as well, so quad bikes. Uh, this block here, this is now about probably seven, eight years old. Um, so this is what they call the third phase. Um, and at the bottom of this uh, block, there is an existing spa. Um, so massages, there's a small gym there. Um, you can uh, have a sauna, there's a steam room. Um, so that's already there as well. Then we move to phase four, which is what they call uh, Aphrodite Park Residence. Um, and these were completed a couple of years ago now. And again, there's actually another restaurant. There's a pizza and steak restaurant here. Uh, there's a little cafe area. There's another communal pool. You can see the two blocks here have uh, pool infinity pools on the rooftop. And just behind here to the side, to the left-hand side, uh, that's where there is another restaurant, another local restaurant, not part of the uh, development. But as I said, it is within walking distance. Then we have what we call Aphrodite Wellness, phase five. Um, so this is a project that we started selling a year and a half ago now. Uh, there is still a little bit of availability, um, but payment plans are less now because it is well under construction. Um, most of the blocks are completed or are more or less completed. Um, and they're now working on internals and getting towards like doors and things like that. So this is, it's still under construction. Um, there are still a little bit of availability, but um, if you're interested in this particular project, then when it comes to a payment plan, for example, uh, it's now a 60% down payment. And the remaining 40% would be over around about 18 months. So um, it's, it's a different payment plan on this one. But the project this evening is called Aphrodite Aqua, and it's these two blocks here. So this becomes phase six, effectively. Um, and this is the block. This is block A, the one towards the back. This is the one that is currently um, being marketed. Of course, this one will be marketed as well, but they're looking at just getting uh, some more sales and things here in a moment. I will show you the current price list so that you can see what's available. Um, but what they have done with this particular part of the project is they've included a very small aqua park area. And I will try my best to get there. I usually end up going to the wrong part. Yes, I've come to the, um, the infinity pool on the rooftop. Let me see if I can come in from this way. Yes, here we go. So you can see that in front of block B, which is this one, block A is behind, then there is a small aqua park area. Again, there'll be small cafe, um, sort of snack bar, if you like. Um, there's going to be a small little children's play area, sun lounging area. And here, there's actually going to be another swimming pool and it will be more like um, just for swimming lengths, et cetera, et cetera. So this will be the sort of play area part, if you like. So let's go back to, this is the penthouse. So in on the there's actually 13 floors and then a penthouse floor and there's eight units on the penthouse block um, and they are all one bedroom. So they will look like this nice open um, lounge and dining area, kitchen area. Uh, nice uh, terrace, of course, because it's the penthouse. And then we have the bedroom area. No, oh, no, it's not going to take me there. <laughs> there we go. We can see nice bedroom area with 
ensuite. Really nice styling, very modern, just sort of hotel style living really. Oops, I'll come back out. Okay, so these are the uh, penthouse units. And as I said, there are 13 stories um, in total. So floors one to 13, and then the penthouse is um, floor 14. So in, these, in this block uh, is only studios and one bedroom units. So again, this is the normal one bedroom unit, not on the penthouse on the other floors. Again, open plan, kitchen, dining area, nice balcony. Of course, it depends on the location of the property on the floor. Um, some of the properties have slightly larger balconies, others are slightly larger inside. Again, I will show you that when I show you the, pri uh, the payment um, pricing list in a moment. And again, we have our bedroom. Again, we have these floor to ceiling um, doors and windows, sliding doors here, just so that we can let in as much Mediterranean light as possible. Uh, we have the um, wardrobe area, sort of small walk-in wardrobe area. And then we come back out. And if I turn this way, we go into the bathroom area. Again, nice and simple, very clean lines um, that this developer is now becoming very, very well known for. And then I can also show you the studio units. So the studio units, they're based on a hotel room. Uh, if you're looking at a, a, a standard double hotel room, usually it's around about something like 22, 24 square meters. Um, these are 34 square meters internally. So it just gives you that little bit of extra room. It gives you this uh, area to have a kitchen. Um, and then as you can see, um, I know someone else that bought another studio unit of from this developer somewhere else. And I know that they have got in a um, double bed and um, a small sofa as well. So it is possible to do that. Although many people opt to maybe have like a um, um, an L-shaped sofa bed. Um, so it can be sort of pushed away during the day and just pulled out in the evening. But of course, it's up entirely up to you. And then we have the bathroom again very simple very clean straight lines we have a small cupboard area here and the main door to the property here okay so these this is the studio unit so as i say in block a we only have studios and one bedroom units okay now the other aspect to this particular project um, is as I said, uh, it's been a very well-known um, holiday destination for many years. This first part has been up and running for 15 years. Um, so they already have a very good rental team on, on site um, looking after it um, and, and looking after the rentals. But of course, those of you that have been on our other Zooms, you will know that the wellness aspect of the project um, is going to be focusing on um, invasive and non-invasive treatments. And um, when you uh, when you're looking at this, the um, the wellness will have a large wellness facility, which will have all of the non-invasive. Uh, aspects to it so it will have another gym it will have another indoor swimming pool uh, it will have the saunas the spas the massage treatment rooms um, they have partnerships with um, different um, companies from different locations um, so for example I know that they have a partnership with an Icelandic company who focus on extracting collagen from fish uh, they have another partnership um, with uh, I'm not sure where they're from but they specialize in extracting oils 
from plants and things. Um, so they already have these partnerships in place. And then they also are going to be building a fully functioning hospital on site. And um, with this fully functioning hospital, they will have everything from full medical checks to IVF, uh, to plastic surgery, hair transplants, etc cetera, etc cetera. so it's going to focus literally on everything and as we know medical tourism is just growing around the world and it is no different here in north cyprus because it's a very affordable place um, to have health treatments done so they are also now offering and i'm going to see if it will work for me <laughs> They are also now offering this block here. Uh, the hospital, I believe, is either going to be here or next to it here. And I'm going to double check on that uh, with the sales team um, and let people know afterwards. But this block will be the closest to the hospital. Um, this is known as Wellness G. Uh, these are Wellness A to F. So we have A, B, C, D at the front, E and F at the back here. This is known as Wellness G. So this is now also uh, being uh, put out for, for market. Um, and again, I have the price list for that as well. So this will be very interesting because, as I said, it will be the closest block to the hospital. Uh, the hospital, um, as I said, will have all full treatments. This block at the bottom on the ground floor will also have commercial units. At the moment, they haven't fully decided what's going to be in those commercial units, but uh, there will be commercial units. So I should imagine that there's going to be some sort of small supermarket, um, maybe another little coffee shop, those types of things. But there will be commercial units um, at the bottom of this particular block as well. So because the developer Evergreen um, are a very well-established developer, um, basically it doesn't matter whether you buy here in the Aqua, it doesn't matter whether you're, you've bought or you're buying in wellness, or if you decide that you'd like to invest in uh, this G block here, you are able to use all of the facilities or your customers that are renting will be able to use all of the facilities throughout the whole site. Um, they are, as you can see here, let me just come out. Uh, this is already a, a beach area uh, where they have sunbeds and everything like that. Um, but they're going to be building these uh, wave breakers in the sea because um, currently Although there is sand, it's a um, it's a sort of darker sand, coarser sand, and it gets pulled out into the sea a lot. So they're putting these wave breaks up to uh, ensure that the sand stays on the beach. Um, as you can see, they will be putting these small pontoon areas. There will be there will be more beach uh, lounges, etc. And then at this end, they are building a small um, marina. Uh, just for small boats um, and there will be more restaurants and bar areas uh, I don't know if it's going to let me see yes you can see it a little bit more closely here so just a few boats and then these buildings will be restaurants and cafes and things um, this this part of the pathway has already been built um, obviously, they will be extending it to in, in, incorporate the marina. And the plan is, is that eventually there will be a pathway around the whole of the Aphrodite area um, so that people can walk, they can jog, they can cycle, they can skate, whatever you want to do. But there will be uh, this walking path around the whole site. Now, uh, the hospital is due to be completed by 2025. As I said, the wellness is already under construction at the moment. Aphrodite Aqua is actually completion for 2026. And the wellness blocks, the wellness block here, the, the new one that they're just launching, that's also for 2025. So uh, there are, of course, payment plans available on these. Um, and I will explain those to you. Let me share with you 
the availability. So first of all, Aphrodite Aqua. No, sorry, wrong one. Bear with me a moment. No, I don't want to show that one. Let me try again. Okay, so Aphrodite Aqua, uh, as you can see, it has been popular over the, the last few months that it's been launched, um, but there is still plenty of availability. As I said, it's made up of studios and one bedroom units only, uh, 13 floors, and then the 14th floor is the penthouse floor where there are eight one bedroom units only. As you can see, uh, we've got 36, 37 square meters with the uh, balcony for a studio here, um, a little bit bigger inside, slightly smaller balcony here, one bedroom units. Uh, we've got from 44 and a half square meters to 59 square meters internally. OK, we've also got a 64 square meter one here. Um, and very six, five and seven have very large terraces as well. They're the biggest sort of units. Now, just to explain, um, this is the standard floor layout, and we've got five, six, and seven at the front here. So as I said to you, five and seven, they are the one bedroom units. Um, they have a large internal area and they also have a large balcony area as well because they're right at the front. Now, if you remember from the 360, uh, the two aqua blocks, uh, A, which is what's being sold, is the one to, at the back and then B will be in front of it. But still, it's staggered. So you will still have um, views from the sea partial sea views obviously in certain units but there will still be sea views um so uh, obviously as you can see five and seven are particularly uh, popular um but we've got a lot of studio units as well so for this particular uh, part of the project currently the cheapest price for a studio unit is 64400 british pounds and the cheapest one bedroom unit currently is uh, 81,560 British pounds. Now with this particular project, it's a 30% down payment and the remaining 70% is over four years interest free. Okay, so this is a great option um, for those of you that want to get in the start of investment here in North Cyprus, because these are some of the lowest prices that we're seeing right now. Um, those of you that know the Essentepi area, you will know that, you know, there is nothing for this price in the Essentepi area. Studio units there now are way over a hundred thousand pound. So this is a uh, a great investment opportunity. Um, there's a lot to do on the site or there will be a lot to do on the site when it's fully completed. As I said, there's already many facilities there now. It's an up and running site. You can find it on booking.com, etc. cetera. Um, so there's already that holiday uh, vibe there, but they're bringing in the medical tourism as well. Also in this area, uh, there's quite a few people that rent long term here because there are three universities within a 15 minute drive of this um, project. So um, the lecturers, um, they want to rent a property while they're teaching throughout the academic year. Of course, with the introduction of the hospital, there's going to be doctors and things like that that will want to do rentals. Um, so there's various options at being able to get a return of investment on this particular uh, site and projects. So this is Aqua. And then if I just also show you the wellness, just give me one moment. I'm just trying to find it. Here we go. Okay. 
Okay, so as I said, this is the newest block for the wellness part of the project. Um, and this will be the closest block to the hospital. It's called Hosp Wellness G Hospital Block. Um, and as you can see, again, it is a mix of studios and one bedrooms. Um, the cheapest studio unit is uh, 77,190 British pounds. Um, and the cheapest one bedroom unit is 94,430 British pounds. Um, for this particular uh, block, it is 30% down payment and three years interest-free payment plan because this will be actually completed before Aqua uh, because the rest of the wellness project is due to be completed in 2025. So uh, that just gives you a little idea uh, of what's available. Again, there is a penthouse floor as well. Uh, it's not quite as tall as the Aqua ones. We've got floors one to 10. As I said, first floor, ground floor is all commercial units. Uh, so you've got nine floors of the studios and one bedrooms. And then on the 11th floor, uh, you have eight uh, penthouse one bedroom units. And again, size is very similar as before. Um, but of course, as I said, depending on the location on the floor, uh, they do vary in size and the balconies will vary in size as well. OK, so does anyone have any questions that they'd like to ask? I've given a lot of information, I know. But these Zoom calls are always just to uh, allow you to have the information that you need um, and that, of course, if you or anyone is interested in learning more, finding out more information or about a specific unit, then um, we are always happy to have a separate and private Zoom call uh, with you in order to go through uh, anything that you want to know in particular. But if anyone has any questions that they'd like to ask right now, um, I'm very happy to answer any questions. Everyone's gone quiet. <laughs> If you would like to, if you would rather write, type the question in the chat box, please feel free to do so. Um, as I said, with this particular project, there's going to be lots of opportunities um, for uh, rental here, um, not just holiday rental, um, but also with um, medical tourism and also long-term rental as well. As I said, you know, we've already got the professors that rent some places in this project already um, because we have those three universities very close by um, and uh, also eventually with the hospital and things there will be doctors uh, and that that will want to rent as well so there's lots of different opportunities here hi paula it's me lisa hi, hi lisa hi, are you okay i'm Just very, very quickly this project as well crypto payment yes of course okay, uh, fantastic very much so. Uh, all of the projects that we offer, the developers will accept crypto payments uh, for the property and our recommended lawyer also will accept uh, crypto payments for legal fees as well. OK, fantastic. That's good to know. That's that's all I just wanted to check. You know me, I'm a no crypto problem. girl, so I just want to check as well. <laughs> no worries. Perfect. OK. Any other Any questions? Other No? Okay. Well, if everyone's happy, if there are no other questions, of course, this has been recorded. So uh, as soon as it's been uploaded, we will forward out the recording to everybody. Um, but as I said, uh, if you've seen something that you're interested in, if you know someone that might be more interested, we're always very happy to have a private Zoom call. So please don't hesitate to contact us. Um, and we hope that we will see you very soon, both here in North Cyprus and also uh, on our next Zoom calls. And we'll be releasing those Zoom calls for next week very shortly as well. Um, as I said, the recording will be available um, as soon as it's been uploaded. Any other questions? 
Okay, well, thank you so much again for joining us this evening. Again, apologies for having to lay, delay the start of this uh, Zoom presentation. Unfortunately, uh, the internet and electricity was against me, uh, but we got there in the end. So again, thank you for joining us this evening and uh, we hope to see you very, very soon. Have a good rest of the day and evening, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.